Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Wadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh, and who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned their truth from, and honor, salutations, and blessings. To the house of David, the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel, starting with the 144,000, the prophets that are feeding the sheep of Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability day in and day out. To the men, women, and children, keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai and staying in the Holy Spirit day in and day out. So I just want to do a quick uh, news update. All right, you have uh, today's uh, Monday, January the 27th, 2020. Year, year of uh, prophecy, year of the vision. All right, and uh, right now you have the um, uh, stock markets. All right, global stock markets is uh, you know um, <clears throat> declining. All right, it's uh, it's in a it's uh, sliding down. All right, as it says right here, Dow Jones four hundred points. Dow drops four hundred points as coronavirus fears rise. It's travel stocks slide. All right. So, um, yeah, you have the, this fear of these uh, pestilence, all right, this pestilence, which they have uh, coined as the coronavirus, you know, uh, it's um, having a, a negative impact on the global um, uh, economy, all right? And not just here in America, but like I said, global economy, different parts of Europe, different parts of uh, um, the uh, Asia country, Eurasian countries. So, um, yeah, man, this, uh, this actually shows you that, these uh, pestilences, all right, these uh, the uh, these plagues that the Lord is sending upon this world is is going to have an effect in every different uh, facet of life, okay? Every different avenue, every different you know uh, uh, place where people have some type of uh, they they believe they have some type of security or some type of um, you know stability in the Lord is going to upheave it, all right, and He's going to cause it to shake and, and to crumble because. Anything that people have their faith in is going to be, um, you know, destroyed. And the Lord, and the Lord is going to uh, only let the faith that men have in Him. That's the only thing that's going to stand in these last days. All right, the the, the trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to stand the test of uh, um, the hell, the carnage that's about to be put on this place. But the majority of this world, they have faith in you know their their stocks. They have faith in their money. All right, faith in their own health. Faith in, you know, the medical field, all right, the, the pharmaceutical field, all these things that, um, you know, is contrary or, or you know, a put above the Lord, you know, but the, these people do. The Lord is about to show you that none of these things matter, man. None of these things are, are any type of gods, any type of power. The only power is the power of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the creator of heaven and earth, all right, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom we serve and worship. And that's about to be put in and shown very soon. So it says stocks tanked on Monday after more cases of the coronavirus were confirmed over the weekend, ratcheting up worries over the virus impact on the world economy. You see now this is just one. Once again, this is just one virus that is obviously, you know, spreading rapidly. And, you know, a lot of um, these uh, uh, scientists and people in the medical field, they, they don't see how to control it. They don't have any ideas of, of how to control it. But um, when the Lord starts breaking multiple different plagues and, and multiple different times, all right, uh, so like multiple plagues at the same time, imagine what that's going to do to the world economy. All right. See, a, a pestilence in itself can can collapse the economy because this is just one plague and it's doing this. All right. When the Lord starts bringing, you know, uh, uh, multiple plagues, multiple pestilence, you know that can that can very well in itself be a uh, major factor in bringing down this uh this current system, which we know and anticipate is going to happen pursuant to the prophecies of the scriptures. Okay, it says the Dow Jones Industrial Industry plunged 406 points or 1.4, led by lower Nike and American Express. The 30 stock average was down more than 500 points earlier in the day. The S and P five hundred dropped one point four percent, while the Nasdaq com um, Composite slid one point eight percent. It says there are there are two thousand eight hundred and sixty two confirmed cases so far in China, 
and the death toll is in China has risen to eighty one. Uh, has risen to eighty one. Now there was a um uh, a uh, whistleblower. Okay, over there in China. All right, there was a whistleblower over there in China, and um, which have said that they it was she, uh, it was a nurse. All right, it was a nurse over there in China. She said that they're um they're shaving the numbers down where they really think. Oh, uh, she's saying that there's about ninety thousand people with the um with the uh, virus. Okay, now there's been um also videos all over YouTube. You can just type it in where people are in hospitals and they're we got white sheets just you know people lined up in the hallways just sick and, and a lot of them looking like they are dead from the virus man so you know you can't really trust what you see on you know mainstream media because of course and just like how these movies shot these movies show you just like contagion all right uh, uh outbreak uh containment which was a tv show they're not going to show you the exact numbers and, and how bad things are until it's too late so that whistleblower or that nurse over there in China, which said that there's actually about uh, more likely than 90,000 people with the with the uh, virus. That's probably more likely than just, you know, this uh, 3000 confirmed cases it Says the World Health Organization director generally general is traveling to China to meet with government and health officials in the U.S. A fifth case of coronavirus was confirmed over the weekend. You know, so th these cases are becoming more and more prevalent throughout uh, the world, man. All right. It says China, China is the biggest driver of the global growth. So that so this couldn't have started in a worse place. So the Lord knows exactly what he's doing, man. All right. The Lord picked, you know, a, 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 for this thing to pop off in a place where it can affect the worst at. It says, said Alec Young, managing director of global markets research at the FTSE Russell. Markets hate uncertainty and the coronavirus is the ultimate uncertainty in that no one knows how badly it will impact the global economy. Now, the scriptures told you about trust not in uncertain riches, which is <laughs> the, the, this whole economy is based off of uncertainty. Man. The, the stock market is based off of an uncertainty. That's why it's so volatile, you know, up. It was just a couple of weeks ago where the stock market just reached, you know, all time highs. You know, and now look what's happening. OK, just because of a, a virus, it's it's creating global fears. All right. This just shows you how how fragile, how fragile this whole system is, man. And that's why when the Lord topples this place, man, you, you know, uh, uh, it's going to go down in, in, a, in a great, terrible fashion. All right, because it's it's not built on a solid solid foundation. It's not built on a solid rock. All right, it's built off of lies, uh, deceits. Actually, the scripture tells you. Let me get that real quick. I wasn't planning on pulling it, but you know the spirit. You go with what the spirit do. Um, Ecclesiasticus the tenth chapter, I believe. Ecclesiasticus chapter ten or Sirach chapter ten, verse. Um, I'm gonna start at seven. It says, "Pride is hateful before." Pride is hateful before God and man, and by both doth one commit iniquity. And this whole world is built off of pride. Why? Because the man of pride, the man of sin, is ruling right now, Esau, Edom. And he's a prideful man. It tells you that in the, in the book of Obadiah. The pride of thine heart has deceived thee. So it's hateful before the Most High and man. So this is why the Lord is, is has, this, has this, this whole system, this whole age is about to be judged, man. Okay? Judged by the righteous power because of the pride that is just, you know, spewing out all over the earth. All right. This is why th these are uh, um, pestilences and, and these different various, various uh, natural disasters. You know, those those wildfires over there in Australia. All right. The earthquakes that is hit, that is hitting different parts of the earth. All right. This is why all this is happening because of the pride of the of the people in this world. All right. Verse eight says because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing the beginning of the translation of the kingdom of Esau. Esau is the end of this world, all right? And Jacob be, uh, being uh, the beginning of it that followeth, the kingdom being translated into Jacob. But in order for in order for uh, um, Jacob to get the kingdom, guess what? Esau kingdom has to go down. And the scriptures tells you that the way Esau kingdom go, is going to go down is going to be like in a fashion of none other, man. It's going to be a time that has never been on the earth. OK, and the way Esau got got into power was by unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches gotten by deceit, which the stock market is all about that, man. 
All right, it's all it's all manipulated. Okay, going on in this article, it says airline stocks United and Delta both dropped more than four percent. American slide five point seven percent. Gaming stocks such as Las Vegas Sands and Wynn Resorts dropped six percent and seven one percent respectively. MGN Resorts slid three point four percent. Why? Because the Lord is closing up shop, man. All right, the traveling, the 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 mirth, okay, the the you know, like it says, gaming stocks, the gambling. People are not going to these public places, man, in fear of uh, of catching this virus, okay. People don't want to go out in public. People don't want to go out in places where there's a large congregant of uh, people from different parts of the earth because they're afraid. All right, they're they're afraid of 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 these pestilence, man, which. We've been prophesying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is going to happen because it's in the scriptures. You see? So you got the travel stocks is dropping. All right. That mirth, that house of mirth, <laughs> the Lord is closing that house up. All right. It says travel stocks, Expedia, Carnival, and Marriott International all pulled back at least more than 2%. Consumer shares with, with exposure to China, such as Apple, Disney, Nike, and Eastie uh, Launder all dropped at least 2.1%. All right. And, and that goes into the um, the scriptures where it talks about Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, start at verse um, 11. It says, but I will bring, actually, let me start at 12. It says, Egypt shall mourn. All right. And, and once, once again, the Lord is saving America, Babylon, a great for last, man. Because once this place get hit, it's going to be unlike anything you've ever heard, seen, or witnessed, all right, or even thought of, okay? The Lord, the scripture tells you that in, in uh, the book of Revelation, that this is spiritual Sodom in Egypt. You know, you just had in the Grammys yesterday, you had a, uh, a, a homosexual little Nas X, all right, uh, a Sodomite, okay, win multiple awards, and then you had that that whore, fat-ass bl uh, uh, black whore, Lizzo, win multiple uh, um, awards, man. So this is what gets uplifted in this place. All right, nothing but folly, whoredom, and, and homosexual sodomite behavior, man. So this is why this, you, you, you see, and you're going to see and witness why the Lord is bringing all these plagues upon this place. The scripture tells you that he reserveth um, the wicked for the day of judgment. Okay? It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it, okay? So the Lord is bringing these things upon, upon it, man. It says, um, they that till the ground shall mourn. That's what, the famine, okay? Because don't forget, that's a part of the, the plagues that the Lord is going to bring too. The sword, death, destruction, plague, uh, pestilence, and famine, all right? It says, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in hell and with fearful constellation, okay? It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there should be sedition among men and invading one another. All right, and I was just re watching the news, um, Euro news, and um, you because you have the pestilence, uh, this this virus over there in France, but you have um, so-called Chinese people that are France, uh, uh, France. Uh, citizens that live over there and the guy was basically saying that how uh, a lot of asian people over there are are complaining about being uh uh you know looked at or pointed at or ostracized or you know talked at when they're walking up and down the street over there because people are equivalating any asian person with this virus man so that's what that's that's that sedition among men okay they're they're about to <laughs> they're about to be you know basically demonized as being some uh, 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 having a virus, even if they don't have the virus, man. So that's the what the Lord said: the love of many shall wax cold. Don't let a, a, a so-called Chinese person sneeze in a public setting, all right? Or don't don't let them look sick. You know, people the people might go crazy. They might try to throw them off, you know, the bus or or whatever, beat them up or you know what? But hey, people go like Scripture says: the love of many shall wax cold. Somebody might even you know shoot them, man, because they they're the fear of them. Not wanting to catch this virus. So that's that sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor prince, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Okay? So that's what you got the the the, the, the stock market, all right. The travel stocks are dropping, man, because people 
you know, over especially over there in China, you got over 50 million people are quarantined in six to seven different cities. All right. And and what happens when different cities in America, different cities in Europe starts to uh, have more and more confirmed cases? You're going to see the same thing that's happening over there in Wuhan and different uh, Asian cities. The same thing is going to happen over here, man. You're going to see uh, uh, the, the, the martial law, basically troops, uh, army militants are going to come and lock down cities. You're not going to be able to go from one city to the next. All right. It says, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All right. And that's the only thing that's coming into this place, man. So, you know, I just want to bring this out, you know, show show what the Lord got coming to this place, man. All right. And this is what it is. Ezekiel 7 verse 5. Thus saith Yahweh power and evil, which is a bad time, and only evil, and only evil, behold, is come. And end is come, the end is come, it watches for thee, behold, it is come. So only evil is coming to this place. And, and we're seeing all that coming to fruition right now, from the stock market to the to the pestilences, to the sedition among men, to the uh love of many waxing cold, okay? To so the, the 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 stars of heaven falling, all right, uh, these so-called idols or uh, celebrities that is being uplifted in this place, they're being destroyed. And all you hear it now is about what the prophets prophesying, man showing you and telling you all these things that are coming so you, so the best it will behoove you if you hear these words to repent while you may while you still have opportunity to man all right seek ye the lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near because if you're not on the side of the right side of the lord you're going to be hit with with the plagues the calamities all right your fear your desolation your destruction of like that's going to come as a whirlwind man so you know uh lord willing this was edifying unto the elect call lord yahweh shai Shalom.